So I don't think that anybody out there would have predicted that on a random Tuesday morning, we would get a massive Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel update, but we did get that today as Nintendo has officially confirmed that this game will be delayed until spring of 2023, as up to this point in time, we were expecting it in 2022. And we have to talk about in today's video, all the implications of this announcement, look at the new gameplay glimpses that we actually saw as part of this announcement trailer, and then also have a broader discussion of what this really means for the rest of the Legend of Zelda lineup when it comes to 2022 games. What's up, nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join Sunburn Nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now, as I mentioned, guys, we got a surprise massive news story to discuss today because Nintendo randomly on a Tuesday morning, not a part of an E3 presentation, not a part of a Nintendo Direct, just decided to drop a surprise update trailer on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, and they have indeed confirmed that this game is now slated for a spring of 20. 2023 release as up to this point in time we were expecting it to launch in the year of 2022 and we now know that spring is the window for this game now that is the first point i want to kick off with because they didn't just say the year 2023 they said spring of 2023 and i think that that was this the general consensus out there that if for some reason we didn't see it come out this year it would most likely launch around the same time window that we saw the original legend of zelda breath of the wild launch which was back in march of 2017 and that's hard to believe because it's going to be six full years since we've actually gotten the original game to when Breath of the Wild sequel will ultimately release and we still don't have the title by the way which is kind of crazy there's a lot of leaks and rumors floating around with what the title could have been but there's no telling what the title will actually be for this game one thing that we did get a new glimpse of though however is new gameplay or at least a new snippet of something that we have not seen before because we did get a brief look at Link's face this time around with the long hair and so all of the speculation is going to run wild on the internet on whether or not this is two different timelines whether or not it's the same Link who knows the master sword he was holding looked very suspect if it even is a master sword at all definitely had that vibe to it but it also looked like kind of an ancient blade towards the end of it so I will let you guys tell me in the comments down below all your personal thoughts and theories about what these new gameplay snippets mean and if they're significant or not to the overall story of the game but it's definitely an exciting time to at least get a little bit of new information not much but then we also did get some confirmation from Mr. Anuma himself that not only is it taking place in the land and the skies but it goes far beyond that and that could play into why they need the extra development time here as we already know how vast and huge the original Hyrule was but I don't think Nintendo would just re-release the same Hyrule twice and only add in certain areas into the skies like they're clearly recrafting the entire world and maybe even expanding it further on both land skies and maybe even underground like Elden Ring has underground areas and that's something that kind of stuck out to me like maybe there's literal underground sections of the game that we have no clue how big that section and that portion of the maps could be maybe we see the traditional dungeons return and some of which are in the sky and they're a full length area and some of which are, which are underneath the ground like the possibilities are endless in terms of what Nintendo is really planning with this game but whatever it is it's clearly a major project because six full years after the release of the original Breath of the Wild is now when we can expect this one. Now, with all of that said, and us all now on the same page as Zelda fans, that spring of 2023 is the window to look forward to for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, we have to have the conversation around whether or not we can expect any Zelda games to come out in the year of 2022, as historically, Nintendo typically likes to stick to a one Zelda game per calendar year release schedule, and that's going to leave 2022 without one. And this is where we have to quickly revisit the long rumored and long awaited Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary game as I really did believe those rumors when they were out. I mean, we had Andy Robinson from VGC, a notable gaming journalist, state that they were real and they were coming. And then we had Jeff Grubb go in and back that up, who is another notable gaming journalist. And they seem to have the mindset that these games are done and just waiting. And if Nintendo needed extra development time for this exact scenario, that that is when we would see them release. Whether or not it's a combo pack or individual releases, I would be more inclined to believe individual releases at this point in time. Who knows, but let's say we roll into E3, we get another hype trailer for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, and then Anuma takes the stage and says thank you for everybody's understanding around the development delay on Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, and in the meantime, here is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD from the Wii U, ported now to the Switch, and you can enjoy that right around the corner like in a July or August or even September window release, so we have something to look forward to as Zelda fans. I'm not saying that will happen, and it is totally possible that those games don't make it to the 
Switch, but with all of the rumors and leaks around them and where there is smoke, there's fire with a lot of things, I definitely think that that could be a likely scenario and a likely path for Nintendo to take as the general consensus has been that of course these games are easy ports. They should come over because they're going to sell like hotcakes and you have to put very minimal work in to bring them over. So why would they just leave them to die on the Wii U? And I've always been of the mindset that we would get them eventually. And this is the exact scenario that we may see Nintendo position them in that gap time fill because we don't have any Zelda games to look forward to now for the rest of 2022. And it's only March and almost April at this point, but we still have plenty of the year left for new surprise Nintendo Switch game announcements. So maybe that's wishful thinking on my part because I really want those games to come over. Obviously, as I, I'm a huge fan of both of them and I want to be able to play them on the modern platforms and not have to hook up the Wii U to re-experience them. So regardless of what we see happen with all that, it's still an exciting time to be a Zelda fan right now. Let me know at this point in the video, guys, your personal thoughts and speculation around this. What do you think this delay to 2023 really means? Do you think we're getting any extra Zelda games in the year of 2022? Like I maybe think is possible. I'm not saying it will happen, but I definitely think there's a strong possibility. And also let me know your thoughts and theories on that new gameplay glimpse that we got where it shows Link's face and then that ancient looking master sword that he has in his hands. Like I want to hear it all from you guys. And also bonus question. Do you think that Nintendo repeats a strategy and releases something like the Breath of the Wild sequel alongside some kind of more powerful Switch hardware? Because I know that'll be a divisive topic, but that's definitely something else that they could definitely do because the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a system seller, spoiler alert, and the sequel will absolutely be as well. So maybe if Nintendo does have some new hardware cooking, that would be the time to throw it out there with the game's release. But regardless of where you fall on everything we talked about today, I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below before you leave the video, as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic. Make sure you check out yesterday's video if you haven't already, where we discuss some major rumors suggesting that Apple is planning on entering the gaming space in a big way and what that would really mean for companies like Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. Also, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.